y'all it's Beth here and today I am doing a chop and chat video I am super stoked so I did get questions from one person and then also I found some like Halloween themed questions online since this is for my fall melting basket I mean this is chopping my fall wax so I wanted to do some Halloween themed questions as well so I'm, I have this whole big bucket full of wax to chop and I'm going to go ahead and get to it. And without any further ado, I also will start on the questions. Also, I have my coffee with me because today is National Coffee Day. Um, at least the day I'm filming this is. I don't know if I'll actually post this video today or not. I'm hoping to, but it honestly just depends how much editing I have to do for it, so we will see. This one is the Melton Moose American Pie, and, oh, well, if I could get it out of the container, there we go. Um, that was a me problem. <laughs> So, the uh, Melton Moose American Pie is apple crisp, salted caramel, and vanilla ice cream. So, okay, the first question, these questions are from Carson Cole here on YouTube. Um, if you don't watch his videos, you should because he is so funny and also, like, he has very good content about what he is melting which we all love to talk about wax and listen about wax so his first question is do you melt the same scent throughout your whole house so i have currently four warmers in my house um one of them is in my bedroom one of them is in my bathroom upstairs and the other one is in the other two, excuse me, are downstairs in like two separate areas of my downstairs because it is open concept. So since my downstairs is open concept, I melt the same scent in both of my warmers downstairs, but in my bedroom and bathroom, it's kind of like fair game of what I melt in there. I just kind of melt, you know, whatever I am feeling like melting and those ones are kind of mismatched. Only a few times have I melted the same thing in both my bedroom and my bathroom, but a majority of the time, whatever I melt in there is like, um, for the majority of the time, if I melt the same thing in both rooms, it's always like fresh and clean. I never melt like a lavender in the bathroom because I just don't do that. So, um, <laughs> yeah, that is my answer to that question. And then the next question is if I would do a sample collection video um, for a request. And yes, I will. So I actually already filmed that video last night this one is the melted moose american pie it says she's my cherry pie and blueberry cobbler so i actually already filmed it last night and so i just need to edit it and post it it probably will go up like tomorrow or something um like sometime around that um sometime around that time <laughs> Um, okay, question number three, have you ever considered chopping your candles into melts? Um, so I have actually chopped a candle into a melt before. It was, um, a black cherry Merlot candle that was like having puny wick syndrome and I just, like every time I would dunk out the wax or I would cotton ball it and then it would just repeat the same problem over and over again. So finally I was like, you know what, I just give up. I'm just gonna put this in the freezer and chop it. And of course, this is during the time that I actually was chopping my wax with like a plastic knife. 
and it was just such a pain to chop y'all um so after that it kind of like scared me away from doing that just because it was like so difficult but I think actually I would give it another try um but also like I do enjoy having candles like I don't think I would ever fully move away from having candles every so often so um yeah pretty much that is my answer to that question um I know the single wicks I actually like to put under my candle lamp and then put it in a mold um like an empty clamshell that I used to have another wax in to make like new ew this is literally so disgusting um to make like new um like wax melts out of what am I even saying? It's so hard to multitask, y'all. Um, to make new wax melts out of the candle to put in my wax melter. And I really like doing that. I have a few more single wicks from Bath & Body Works that I'm going to do that with. Um, like around the holidays. So, yeah. Hopefully that answers that question. And, okay, question number four is my all-time favorite wax scent. So, this is really hard. I don't have an all-time favorite wax scent. Like, because it's just so hard to just only pick one. But pretty much I do have, like, a favorite category of mine is bakery. So, that's just what I'm going to go with with that question because I could just go on and on all day about what are my favorite, like, sets because I have so many so this one is trickin and treatin from Teddy B's um, the notes are purple sugar pink and blue sugar beach treats beach nights and vanilla cake pops this one smells so good um, okay next is so good okay Next is, do you have a Halloween tradition every year? So, I also want to add to this question too about like a fall tradition. So, for Halloween, um, these past three years, I want to say, when did I come home from college? My first Halloween home was 2018. So, that would be... 2018, 2019, 2020. Yeah, these past three Halloweens, um, my mom and I have sat outside um, and just like played spooky music while trick-or-treaters come. And you know, we just sit and talk and you know, about life and you know, it's like chilly outside that is kind of like my Halloween tradition that I've done recently. Um, my church actually did a trunk or treat last year that I had to miss. And I really, really wanted to participate. And then they're doing it again this year. So I'm really wanting to, you know, make that a yearly Halloween tradition is to do trunk or treat. But the problem with it this year is that I'm not working because I'm focusing on solely on school for this year. Um, like I'm very fortunate to be able to do that because I know that not everyone, you know, would be able to do that. Um, but I really cannot afford to do a trunk or treat this year. So I'm gonna ask like maybe if a few of my friends want to do it with me and that way then we can split the cost of everything because that would be nice and you know like make the trunk a cute theme and stuff and just get to enjoy you know having a good time with kids trunk or treating so um that is like a halloween tradition that i really really want to start if not this year then definitely next year when i have my life together so question number six and this is the final question from Carson Cole and then we will go on to you know the random questions that I found online 
So this last question, when do you plan on purchasing and who from for Christmas scents? Any scent suggestion for that time of year? So who do I plan on purchasing from? This one is a loaded question. So <laughs> um, pretty much, okay, this is Destination Wax Bear Claw Bread Pudding. And I know these are break apart bars, but every time I try to break these apart, I am just not very strong. Like I am not. So I have a really hard time breaking them apart. So I actually just chop them up with a, um, with my wax chopper. So, um, okay, back to the question. This one is kind of a um, loaded question because, so pretty much this is gonna require a little bit of an explanation. Also, if you can hear that, I'm sorry, Milkshake is eating his food um, and his collar jingles on his glass bowl. So um, anyways, this is a loaded question. So I need to talk first about my candle storage. So I mean for my wax storage. So for my wax storage, I have in my closet a bookshelf that has um, you know, little bins and those bins are for my seasonal stuff. So I have all my fall stuff in those bins because that's like the easiest access, right? I just open up my closet door and there it is. So that is how I store my seasonal wax. Then my off season wax, my goal is to have everything that is not in season to fit in my nightstand which has a little drawer on top which I would love to be for samples and then two like large medium sized drawers on the bottom and that is what I would hope would be like one for Christmas or fall whichever one it's not right now and then the other one to be for spring and summer because spring and summer I kind of like group together right anyways the way that my wax storage is looking right now is that I have those two drawers of my nightstand all have um, winter wax. So two full drawers. And then in my dresser, my bottom drawer is full of spring summer wax. And then I also have two bins or like totes, whatever you want to call them of wax of spring summer wax still to use for next year so in terms of if who I plan on purchasing from well I don't really plan on purchasing from anyone because I cannot be purchasing new wax I have to stay strong and not buy new wax and it's so hard this one is destination wax banana apple bread literally it's so difficult because Vendors always have such cool new stuff coming out and like I just need to tell myself no Beth in the moment you feel like you need all this stuff but in reality you do not need all this stuff you already are overwhelmed with what you have and you need to use it up so that you can actually only have wax stored in the spots that you want to have wax stored because it's not good to have like it's not good to have so much wax it is not um so i really really need to get that under control um for christmas since so i'm hopefully i'm not planning on purchasing okay anything. i'm back i had to shut the blinds real fast um, this one is Destination Wax Butternut Pumpkin. Yeah, Butternut Pumpkin. So, um, yeah, in terms of plans for purchasing wax, I don't have any. My plan is hopefully to not purchase any. Oh my gosh, so good. Um, and any scent suggestions? Yes. Carson, OMG, I have so many scent suggestions. So, some of my favorites that I've tried is Rose Girls Spruce Willis. Um, 
it's one of my favorite tree scents I can tolerate and actually like thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy. I already have it in a um, chunk bag and I already have chopped it. So I'm just so excited to use it. Um, from, let's see. Okay, I talked about Rose Girls. From Ava's Country Cupboard, I really, really like Enchanted Apple. I really like Peppermint Patty. I really like, um, which is like a chocolate mint scent. I don't know if you like chocolatey scents or not, actually. I know you like bakery, like me, but I don't know about chocolate scents. Let me know in the comments down below because I'm really curious. Um, okay, Peppermint Patty. Um, there's one called Christmas Kitchen, which is like a good minty type scent. Um, and I wish I had brought my wax notebook with me. Um, from Scentsy, because I know you purchased from Scentsy, I like Dancing Sugar Plums, Silver Bells, Vanilla Mint, and oh, this is Destination Wax Cranberry Pumpkin. Um, Vanilla Mint, I like, what is another one that I like? Um, I like Cider Mill, but that one is Fall. Um, I like Cozy Fireside, but they didn't bring that one back this year, so I'm a little salty about it. Um, I feel like those are the only ones that I like for Christmas time. I like Hug in a Mug. That one is a chocolate one. Um, yeah, what else? I like, okay, let's talk about Southbound. Southbound is my first vendor I ever tried. And it was a Christmas sample bundle that I got from Rachel, I want to say is her name. Um, and my favorites from her is Elf Treats, which is like a super good soda fizzy type scent, like effervescent, effervescent, is that how you say that? Um, bubbles and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, that one is so good. Um, Winter Wonderland from her is so good. White Christmas. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh my goodness. So good. This one is Savannah Blue Frosted Circus Cookies. And this one I was given in a random act of kindness from Angie, which I am so appreciative of. Um, okay. What else would I recommend? What other vendors? Um... Did I try any Christmas scents from L3 last year? I don't think so. Um, Cause I know you purchased from L3. You know, actually, I will send you notes. I need to look through my wax notebook and then I will like leave a comment for you telling you all my favorite Christmas scents um so that you will know my suggestions because I'm trying to think um oh from super tarts I like fairy dust that one is like fresh balsam mixed with like some other things as well um and yeah that one is good um that's really all i can think of in terms of like christmas scents at the moment um is this too much wax to put from savannah blue i don't know i've not ever melted anything from savannah blue before i'm just gonna go with it and say that this is a good amount of wax to put in the warmer. Two, four, six, seven. Well, that's a shame. Okay, one I'm just gonna have to melt, you know, by itself and just use like a Cupcakes at Tiffany's from someone or something. Um, okay, what is next? So, that's it for Carson's questions. And then all the rest are questions that I found online. Um, how do I get this to fit? Wow.
Maybe I shouldn't have chopped this all at one time. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay, you know what? It's just gonna have to stay open in this bag and it'll be completely sealed in this bag because I don't know what to tell you. It's just not gonna work out and I just will melt this one very, very soon. Um, okay, what's next? So, random questions I found online. We can start with the fall ones first um, because I wanna make sure that I have time to get to all of those. So the first fall one is, what was your all time favorite Halloween costume? My all time favorite Halloween costume. Actually, okay, yeah, I know my favorite Halloween costume that I ever put together is, um, it's actually a costume when I was an adult. This one is L3 Waxy Wonders of the Burrow. It's a costume that I put together when I was an adult and it is a costume that is not in the middle. It is a costume of Dory the fish from Finding Nemo and yeah, that is my favorite costume that I ever had. Pretty much I bought stuff from just about everywhere. I bought some things from, you know, the Halloween store in my town. I bought some things from off of Amazon. And then some things were just like clothes that I already had. Like I used a blue shirt that I already had, a yellow shirt that I already had, um, that type of thing. And, or I think it was a blue shirt and a yellow, yellow, um, a yellow tutu. Yeah, I made a tutu um, for it when my friends and I and yeah it was so fun i found like little blue gloves a big yellow bow and it was like a make your own costume it was for a um halloween party that i went to with some friends of mine from high school and pretty much we all made our own costume and it was based off of disney characters this is l3 waxy wonders the dolly made me do it and it was based off of Disney characters. So like one person was the Queen of Hearts, one person was Maleficent, um, and it was just so fun. These things I cut into halves. Um, so yeah, that is my favorite Halloween costume um, that I ever wore and put together. And then what is the next question? Let's see. Uh, what is the creepiest thing that's ever happened to you while you were alone? Okay, so I have two stories. So first off, in college, my roommates and I, this is my senior year of college, okay? Um, you can believe what you want to about, you know, like are there ghosts or that type of thing. But anyways, my roommates and I, we uh all had like our own separate bedrooms and then we had a living room area and a kitchen and the first night it was just me and this one roommate and the roommate um that was there she told me the next morning she was like did anything weird happen in your room last night and i said no and she said there were drawers of my dresser that were opening and closing and um like I'm pretty sure that there is a ghost. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, so I kind of just like went about my life and stuff. And so, you know, we gave this ghost a name pretty much. We named him Frederick. And, um, you know, all the roommates, we all had like weird stuff happen to us. Anyways. Like, Frederick generally left me alone because I was, like, kind of nice to him. Like, whenever I was alone in the apartment, I would be like, oh, hey, Frederick, I'm here. I hope you're having a great day. And, you know, he seemed to like me okay, so he didn't want to scare me or anything. 
and pretty much this one day I was talking to my sister on the phone and the light of the um like common area had like flickered out and I was like seriously Frederick because I was trying to read and I was on the phone with my sister and my sister was like who's Frederick so I told her Frederick is our ghost and you know he lives here with us in the dorm this is l through waxy wonders gryffindor and he lives here with us in our dorm room and you know he just does weird stuff to my roommates all the time and um she was like oh my goodness beth you cannot be talking to this ghost okay and i mean it's not like i did like a ouija board or anything like that um I just would like talk to him just like you know generally just say hi and be nice but anyways my sister was like you cannot even say anything to this ghost because like you know this ghost is gonna do something bad so um I was like okay I will stop and so that night I you know decided okay I'm not like you know I'm not gonna acknowledge Frederick anymore <laughs> Um, pretty much and so that night I was sleeping and I heard this really 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 loud crash and the thing is okay we lived on the very top floor it was a three-story dorm and we lived on the top story and pretty much we heard I heard this really loud crash in my bedroom and from the ceiling and I was like, oh my goodness, what is that? So I got up and like I felt um, like this piece of like sharp plastic pretty much like on my foot. And I was like, what in the world happened? So I took my phone flashlight and turned it on. And I saw that the like light cover from the ceiling completely fell off onto a carpeted floor and shattered into like so many pieces so literally yeah that was really creepy pretty much after that I went back to talking to Frederick because <laughs> I was like oh no I am not having this weird stuff happen to me um so that is like the creepiest thing that happened to me when I was alone and I told my roommates about it the next day and even when I put in a maintenance request for them to come fix it and replace it, they were like, that is so weird. We have never had anything like this happen before. Okay, this one is L3 Waxy Wonders So Fetch. So pretty much after that, I was like, okay, um, I am just going to keep talking to Frederick. You know, he did not do anything bad to me until I did not talk to him. So I'm just still going to be friendly to him and... You know my sister is gonna have to be fine with that but all my other roommates none of them talked to him none of them were nice to him so I think that's the reason why weird stuff happened to them and like it only happened to me a couple of times um, okay so what's next <laughs> um, oh yeah I also have another story so um this one time, luckily I wasn't alone. My sister was there with me, but um, we had just moved to the beach. So it had to be maybe like 2012. And um, we had just moved there and my whole family went out to the store and it was just me and my sister there. And we had a blender and the blender was not plugged in or anything. Well, my sister and I were in the kitchen talking and this one is White Elephant Exchange from L3. My sister and I were in the bedroom talking and pretty much we, or we weren't in the bedroom, we were in the kitchen. And the blender, which was not even plugged in, by the way, started to blend, like literally. And my sister and I, we ran into our bedroom and shut the door so fast and we did not come back out until our parents got back. And this is all the way when I was, oh, this thing is so good. This was all the way when I was in high school and I was still like mortified. Like it is not that hard for me to get scared. And yeah, we were mortified. My sister was like, oh my gosh, there is a ghost in this house. 
Well, anyways, that was the only time something weird happened there and then everything was fine. So, um, okay, next question. Um, let me know in the comments down below, have you guys ever had something weird like that happen to you before? The next question is, would you rather go to a Halloween party or trick or treating? So I only have ever been to one Halloween party in my life. This is L3 Waxy Wonders Strawberry Jelly Donuts. I only have ever been to one Halloween party in my life and it was pretty fun. Um, we like listened to scary music, we um, danced a little bit, like the time warp and stuff. We ate food. Well, I wanna say it was a Halloween thing, but it was like a Halloween and Friendsgiving type of situation like combined so we did like a potluck everybody brought something and then the friend who hosted it like made the um I forget if they made turkey or ham I want to say it was maybe ham but anyways it was really a fun time um this year we're planning to do a friendsgiving but it's not going to be like a friendsgiving and halloween thing combined I would really love to like have a Halloween party but just have it be like a movie marathon like on a Saturday night or something like the Saturday before Halloween and we can like watch Hocus Pocus and you know just like Halloween Town those types of movies and um Beetlejuice and stuff like that like not I don't like super scary movies I like the kitty movies like Hotel Transylvania and stuff like that so yeah okay this one is L3 Waxy Wonders Lemon Mint Leaf Fizzy Soda but if I were not like a grown-up y'all by the way this scent is so amazing I'm gonna melt one every single season I'm not even lying it's so good um what was I saying? Oh yeah, the thing about trick-or-treating, I would definitely pick that one if I was like still a kid. Cause there is just like something so nostalgic about being able to go trick-or-treating and like remember those times. Like one day when I have a kid of my own, um, you know, like a kid that I'm their parent, I would love to take them trick-or-treating because it's just so amazing okay um let me chop this wax and then I'll flip the page over because that is how I'm gonna get the next question And I chopped these Bitty Betty loaves into eight pieces. Um, just so that you know, that is what seems to work the best for me. It's just an eighth at a time. Okay, the next question is, who is your favorite villain? My favorite villain is Ursula from The Little Mermaid. This is the Melted Moose Hocus Pocus. Um, is Ursula from The Little Mermaid. She has always been my favorite for the longest time in terms of villains. Oh my gosh, this scent is so good. Banana Nut Bread and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles is this scent. Um, I got this one in a custom order that I placed with Jackie. Her wax is so amazing. Um, come on. What was I going to say? Um, Ursula. So pretty much I should have put this in the freezer or something. Pretty much I have always like... Since I got into theater, uh, there we go. 
since I got into theater like a long time ago when I was a kid the villain that I always wanted to play if I ever got to play a like villain ever in anything is Ursula because like she just is so amazing I don't know like she is my favorite villain and now that there are so many like villain movies coming out like there's a movie now about Cruella de Vil um there's obviously the Maleficent movies which are like so cool also um yeah now that there are like villain movies coming out I'm like I hope that they are gonna make a movie about Ursula because she literally is the best in my personal humble opinion um she is literally the best villain of all of them i literally love her um okay and her song is so good literally so good okay so next up the next question how old were you when you saw your first horror movie so in my life i only have watched a few scary movies and actually oh that is literally a hair um literally my first scary movie that i ever saw i watched with my parents i think i was maybe in eighth grade or like ninth grade or tenth grade when i watched it and it is the movie the Nightmare on Elm Street and it is the old one not the new one um I don't know like what year the original one is from but whatever year it is that is you know what it was from and yeah that is my first horror movie I ever watched I did not like it. I literally had nightmares and I told my parents because they have like the whole set on VHS of the Nightmare on Elm Street, like the old one. And I told them, they were like, we need to watch the rest. I told them, okay, I will watch the rest, but I need to be an adult first because then I cannot be scared of this stuff. Because the thing with me is with scary movies, even if they are not realistic, I still get really scared like even if it makes zero sense logically i like still get scared it's actually gonna happen in real life so i just cannot watch that but obviously for the nightmare on elm street it's like only for kids and obviously i'm not a kid anymore so i'm like okay i think if i watched it now or like maybe when my brothers turn 18 and then none of us are kids anymore i think i will feel a lot better about it even though i know logically in my brain like that cannot actually happen in real life, Beth. Like, seriously, are you dumb? Um, I don't know. It's just like this weird thing of that I feel like really scared. Okay, next question. What was your first and last Halloween costume? Also, this one is Teddy B's Frankish Princess. If you love bakery, you need to get this scent. It is so good. Okay. The notes are patisserie, warm donuts, baked bread, powdered sugar, and a touch of spice blended with blackberry butter pecan cookies, which is butter pecan waffles, blackberry jam, and butter cookies. This one smells so good. I literally got either three or four of the chunk bags from Teddy Bees because I was too afraid to get a loaf. Um, I really honestly just need to use the loaves that I have before I buy any new loaves. But I think I definitely would get loaves from Destination Wax, Teddy Bees, and the Melted Moose. Because those um, companies, it's really, really easy to chop. Like their wax is super soft. Um, okay. Let's see. What was your first and last Halloween costume? So my first Halloween costume that I ever had, I actually asked my mom this one because I couldn't remember if it was a cheerleader or a bunny and she told me that it was a bunny so that is my very first Halloween costume I don't really know how many pieces to chop this into actually um maybe into three those 
those are not really that even at all. Okay, um, I am so sorry. Okay, my first costume was a bunny. I don't really remember it, but my mom does. And my last most recent Halloween costume for last year, it was, um, actually I wouldn't have dressed up as anything, but it was actually for my work. Um, like everybody dressed up. Well, I guess not everybody did. Some people just wore like little Halloween ears and stuff. But, you know, the kids get so excited if you dress up and it's just like a very fun time. And the kids dress up and it was just so much fun. So I actually put together a costume of Minnie Mouse. I found a red long sleeve shirt that I actually still have and wear. A black um, skirt with little white polka dots on it and um, some yellow shoes and some little mini mouse ears that I got at the party store so that is my costume that I wore um, last year and it was really nice this year I don't think that I'll have a Halloween costume because I don't work with kids at the moment but whatever job that I have next, if they, you know, allow you to dress up for Halloween um, for the kids or something, then I would be more than happy and willing to do that. Um, oh my goodness, y'all. I'm going to get to melting this right away. I love it. Chopping it just now reminded me of how good it smells. Okay, I don't think I can fit it back in this bag, actually. So I'm actually not going to try um, to do that right this second. Um, the last two are from Rainbow Melts. So I have these bunnies in strawberry frosted animal cookies. And I'm actually going to chop these in half because I melted bunnies in a different scent as well that were like these type of bunnies. And I put the whole bunny in the warmer at a time. But I started to already get a throw when only half the bunny was melted. So I'm going to actually chop these in half because I think I can get more uses out of it that way. And even though I'm trying to use up my wax, like I still spent good money for this wax. I am going to use it to its full potential. Um, the scent is so good. Okay. Yeah, that is my costumes. Okay. Um, what is your favorite part of Halloween? My favorite part of Halloween is the candy. Literally. It is so good. I love candy. Actually, my favorite part of Halloween is getting the half off candy from the store the next day. That is my favorite part. Okay. I know that's horrible, but when you're an adult, okay, and you don't have any kids, like, those are the type of things that you look forward to. Um, okay, what is the worst nightmare that you ever had as a child? We're gonna get, like, super psychoanalysis of me right now. So, when I was a kid, Y'all, look how perfectly these stacked up in there. Oh, okay. Um, when I was a kid, I had a reoccurring nightmare, like, so many times. And it is a nightmare that everyone in my family, like, one at a time, starting with my parents, would become a monster. And so, literally, so in this nightmare, also it was only when it was me and my sister. My brothers were not around yet when I, when I have this reoccurring nightmare. So it was probably like from five, I started having it like maybe around the age of five. And I can still remember this nightmare because I had it for like so many years. Um, where I literally would like have either my mom or my dad would turn into a monster and I would go to like the opposite parent like you know 
you know, dad is a monster or mom is a monster and like we need to go run away. And so we would run away and like, you know, just them and my sister and I. And then that other parent would turn into a monster. And then I would like me and my sister would go, you know, like run away from the other parent because they're a monster now. And then my sister would turn into a monster. And then I would go to my friend Ashley's house because um, we've been friends for like, oh, this is Rainbow Melts Magic Donuts. And I just had these two bigger shapes that I wanted to chop in half. Um, I would run to my friend Ashley's house and like her parents would turn into monsters. So me and Ashley would run away and then Ashley would turn into a monster and then eventually I would wake up at whatever point in time during the dream but eventually like everyone just became monsters except for me and I remember I was so mortified of that dream like I had that nightmare so much when I was a kid and I think like I don't remember a lot of dreams from when I was a kid but I think since that dream happened like so often, like it was so reoccurring that I can still literally remember it to this day. So yeah, that is my scary dream. I have one more thing to chop y'all. It is a full loaf from Southbound Candle Co. And then everything is chopped. So I hope I'll have enough time to answer the questions that I found. Um because you know it's a lot of questions um actually I think I definitely will have enough time because there's not a whole lot of questions left if I'm being honest um okay I'm not too worried about all this excess wax is a loaf from Southbound Candle Co. in the scent Ghostly Brew and the notes are a spooky blend of cider donuts and vanilla bean noel all brewed into one ghostly treat. And I feel like the cider is definitely the strongest note for this one on cold because like it definitely has that like drink alcohol type of smell so I really don't know how I'm gonna like this one um actually I think I might only chop oh wow that was rough I might only chop half of it up at the moment so the next question is if you could make uh, if you could get only one kind of candy while trick-or-treating, what candy would it be? Okay, this is a difficult question. So, the type of candy that I would choose I have like a few favorite candies. I don't heat these up or anything. Um, I just do the best I can. My favorite type of candy is between a Almond Joy and a, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup and a Three Musketeers. All those are sort of kind of my favorite candy. Okay. Y'all, this loaf is not going to be perfect, pretty much. I'm just going to chop the whole thing, I think, because, you know, loaves are such a pain to chop. Um, I just, like, personally am afraid to put wax in the microwave because I live with my parents, and um, I do, like, help contribute to the bills and stuff like that for them, but it's still, like, not my house, you know? And... I know that if my mom found out that I put wax in the microwave, she literally would have a cow. So I'm just not even going to do that. Um, okay, so those are like my favorite types of candy. If I had to choose just one to get, 
Oh, also, I really like Hershey's dark chocolate. If I had to choose just only one to get, I don't know, honestly, if I could do that because I like them all. Um, okay, the last question that I have is if you could make sure one type of candy never made it into your trick-or-treat bag, what candy would it be? And that is such an easy answer. Actually, I have two candies that I would choose. The first candy is Laffy Taffy's. I do not like Laffy Taffy's at all. They are disgusting to my taste buds. Um, I do not prefer them. And, you know, if you, you just like what you like, you know, and Laffy Taffy is not one that I like. And another one that I feel that way about as well is Butterfingers. Um, I just like, that is one of those candies that just I do not like either. So, yeah, that is all the questions that I found. I also found some other questions that are just like random questions, um, not really specific to like Halloween or anything like that. But I feel like I could include those on any, you know, random chop and chat. But I really wanted to like answer questions that are kind of, um, you know, like specific about Halloween because that is the time of year that we're in. And I thought that that would be a lot of fun. So yeah, I know October is right around the corner and I'm just so excited for the holidays to arrive. Um, you know, it all starts with Halloween and then we just go Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and it's just an amazing time of year. So I am super stoked that it is almost October. And also this video is so long. So if you're still here, thank you so much for watching. I will see y'all next time. And as always, make sure you stay positive till then. Bye.